Hey everybody, we're taking a look at Google Sites now. I think Google Sites provides us with an opportunity to use and build our own uh, digital learning hub. I think too often, um, you know, one of the cool things is that we build a lot of content, you know, that we want our students to, to use. You know, we have video clips that we want them to play with. But the challenge is that we don't have one hub that we want to send them to. You know, we have our students traipsing across the internet following our digital footprint, our digital trail, when really uh, the effective way is to grab all that content, create it, you know, grab embed codes, grab links, you know, and embed all that content and put that content into our learning hub. Um, so there are a couple different tools to do that. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at Google Sites. Uh, Google Sites is a free platform that you can use to build video and share it and use it online. Um, pretty easy to use Google Sites. Uh, I have a couple different sites here that I've used before, I've created. To create a new one, I'm at sites.google.com. I'm already signed in to Google right now. Um, it is a part of the Google Apps you know, suite, so if you have Google Docs, it works well, YouTube clips, everything works pretty well together. To create something new, I'm going to go into create. I typically stick with the blank template. I think it's just easier uh, for my use. Uh, you're going to go ahead and name your site here. My suggestion is that you usually pick uh, you know, something that suits you. I've made an argument that we need to brand ourselves. We need to have an identity. So I would make this, you know, Mr. O'Burn's site as opposed to, you know, or, or make it O'Burn here as opposed to something very, very super specific. Um, and then you'll see this is what the URL might be. Uh, you can pick a theme and you can pick options if you want. I'd wait till later. And then you basically enter this capture code. If it, let, if it needs you to pick a different name, it'll let you know right away. Um, but let's take a look at one that's already built up. So this is our text and tools site that this video is hosted on. Once I get to a page that I want to edit, if I'm signed into it, it's pretty easy. I go up here, click on edit page. And you'll see that it opens up the page in a new frame. Uh, and I can pretty much change any of the text here that I want to change. Um, it's pretty simple. If you, how to, if you know how to use Microsoft Office, you know how to do this. What I can also do is I can insert tons of stuff. Uh, some of the main things you'll want to know, insert an image, insert a hyperlink to another page or another website. Um, you can add uh, YouTube clips. YouTube clips and Google video clips embed very well here. Um, also, for those of you that use Google Docs, all the drive pieces are all over here. Uh, you can also do some formatting, but I don't really use this that often. I pretty much use like the justify and stuff like that over here, like the left center. Um, and then for for, for uh, tables right there, I don't use a lot of tables either. Layout is where you can make some fancy changes to the individual pages. A um, couple of the things that you need to know when you add content. So I had this big image here. Let's say I want to change it. If I go in and click on it once, I get this little bar down here. This is the edit. Uh, to, to change the wrap settings. I can also change the size of it. So I'm going to change it to be a lot smaller. And then when I'm ready to make the change, I just go ahead and hit save. Uh, a couple of the things that we want to take a look at while we're here. Over here on this more section, um, if I click on it, I can see revision history. So I can go back and if there's an issue, I can make a change and go back to it. Uh, I can change settings for the page, so if I want to ch allow comments or not allow comments. Um, also on here, I can manage the site and add other editors, so if I want some of my colleagues to edit with me. Uh, the last thing we're going to take a look at here, it's probably the most important, is the privacy settings. So if I go to share, this says that the website right now is public on the web, anybody can search for it. Sometimes, for most of you, it's say anyone with the link, so they have, you have to give them the link so they can see it, and then private is private. Uh, and once again, that's Google Sites. It's a great way to work with uh, building your, your digital hub, your learning hub for your students, and building up a learning management system.